Hi, I'm Matt Barnett, co-founder and chief strategist here at 7X. And today we're looking at Azure AD's conditional access rules and how one simple checkbox could be keeping your policies from working the way you expect them to. Stick around as we jump in and figure out how. Okay, so conditional access in Azure AD, what is it? It's basically a way to enhance the security of different actions such as signing into the portal or registering a device for users of your Azure Active Directory. And the way that it works is you create a policy that defines a particular set of conditions. And when those conditions are met, you can then either allow access or uh, implement enhanced security controls such as requiring MFA, or you can block the action altogether. And within these policies, one of the most common ways to do that is by location. So commonly you may see a, an organization that requires MFA for any time a user logs in when they're not on site or not coming from a trusted network. And what attackers are doing now is they're using IPv6 to log in or to test credentials against Office 365. One of the reasons that this is dangerous is because when we implement those security enhancements through conditional access, there isn't a way to do geolocation on IPv6 addresses. So if you're using a named location and you don't specify this checkbox up here, you could run into a situation where an attacker is able to circumvent that policy because it falls outside of the ability for Microsoft to look it up. So to create a named location that accounts for IPv6 and unknown locations, we need to first create the named location and we also need to select at least one country from the list in addition to the checkbox that allows for uh, the catch-all of unknown or IPv6 addresses. Uh, I commonly use Afghanistan, one, because it's the first one on the list, two, because you have to pick something, and three, Overwhelmingly, most of our clients have not uh, had a need to let people access their consoles from Afghanistan. So once you have the name location, then you can go back and create the conditional access policy that says for any event, you know, commonly sign on or registering a new device, whatever you are configuring your policy for, set the location to include your new named location and then set your enhanced security control. So that could be requiring MFA, say. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so hopefully you guys found this video useful, quick and easy tip for the week, and it's one step closer to securing your Office 365 environment. If you guys have any questions or if you need help configuring policies like this, we're always here. Uh, consider liking and subscribing to our channel if you found this video useful, and we'll catch you on the next one.